Well, good evening, everyone. Michael, soothing here. Back from the dead. Literally. I'll explain that some other time. Today I have a video. We went up to Newport, Oregon, which is up the coast away from us. And they have an Asian store there. And you know, if you bring someone here from Asia, or in this case, the Philippines, in order for them to feel at home once in a while, you need to have them free to get some foods that remind them of home. In this case, some of what they eat in the Philippines. And so every now and then, Joanne goes to the Asian store. We were up there for other things. We went to the lighthouse at Yakina Head and saw thousands of comorants and other seabirds and did some hiking today. Perpetua Cape. No, it's Cape Perpetua. And the uh, checked out the Devil's Cauldron and the Spouting Horn and Thor's Well and some of those interesting features along the coast. The Oregon coast is really quite amazing. But anyway, I'm just here to do a bit of crinkling haul video today. So let's see what's in this thing. Of course we have some you don't have to go to the Asian store for this. Of course, you can get this at Safeway. Ramen chicken noodle soup. So we'll leave that aside and only show you things that come from the Asian store. We have... It's a little bit expensive there, but it's worth it once in a while. If I'm looking very pink, it's because I was in the sun today and saw I'm the color of this shirt. And it's also for another reason I'll explain in the next video. Shrimp chips baked. These are kind of like French fry potato chips with a shrimpy flavor. that doesn't sound very yummy to you, I must say it doesn't sound all that yummy to me either. But I'm still going to try some. It says here, Calbee is the brand. And it says here, inspired by an age-old Japanese recipe. Age-old. How many years old is age old. I don't know. Beloved in the U.S. for over 50 years, East meets West as Calbi shrimp chips capture the authentic flavor of natural wild shrimp in this delicious baked snack. Grab a bag and share with a friend. All right, we'll do that. Tonight, when we're watching our Kung Fu episode, have you ever seen that series from the 1970s, Kung Fu, with David Carradine? Since he died of asphyxiation eventually, a few years ago in Thailand, I find it disturbing when I see scenes of him with a noose around his neck in the series, which has happened two or three times. But anyway, that's an aside. I'm going to do an ASMR video on the series Kung Fu. Just to critique it for you, since I watched it when I was very young, and now we're re-watching it, Joanne and I, some almost, what is this, 40 years later? 70, 73, 74, 
it's like almost 50 years. It's 50, 45 years later. But anyway, what else we got here? We have, speaking of shrimps, we have flower stick pancit canton. Pancit is noodles. For those of you not into Asian foods so or aware, and I'm not really sure how you cook this exactly, but it's wheat flour and coconut oil and various things like that. And it's a specific kind of noodles. This brand is called Excellent. And it has a big shrimp on here because I think they're implying that that's one of the things that goes well with this kind of pancit noodles. You can make them with chicken, shrimps, fish, seafoods, whatever. And they go pretty well. Joanne makes really good pancit, but I have no idea really how it's made. I guess you boil the noodles or something. And from the same company, We have here sautéed rice stick, whatever that means. But I'll show you what it looks like, Look like that. I guess that's rice noodles, right? Yeah, and this is in some other language, rice noodles. Does anybody know what language this is? Because I don't recognize it. That could be French, I don't know. But they're calling it rice stick. Same brand, with a big shrimp on the front there. It's kind of making me hungry for shrimp. They show some made up with shrimps on top. A nice Asian food plate. I'm hungry now for for uh, Chinese food. You know, we found a really great Chinese restaurant um, down the coast a ways, and they give you a lot of food for your money. We figured out that we have to just order one thing, or we end up taking all those little white curtains with us to go home because they give you so much on a plate it's huge and it's really good and it's run by authentic Chinese people I was gonna buy like a canned octopus to put on salad but I didn't find it this time at the Asian store. Do you think that would be disgusting? Next up we have mungo beans. Don't ask me what the appeal of these are because I'm not sure. But they really like them in Asia. And there's a lot of Filipino dishes that are made with mango beans. Here they're just called mung bean, but they're typically called mango. So if you have a Filipino making soup out of them or something, it's called like sinigang de mungo or something like that. The soup. But I can't get with any food that you've got to do a lot of work with, you know, because I'm too lazy. And I think these have to be soaked quite a bit first before you can cook them. Although I'm not sure about that. I'll have to ask Joanne. Oh, these are product of Thailand, which by the way is pretty close to the Philippines. It's right around the same latitude, okay? 
product of Thailand there. So I like Filipino food better than Thai food. I don't like any sugary sauces on things. If it's, say, um, uh, a noodle dish or has meat or anything like that, no sugary stuff. And Thai food tends to be, I like spicy, but not sugary spicy. And we got two of these mongos. This one's packed more tightly, so it doesn't make as much noise. Are these the same? They're not the same. Look at this. This one is called uh, Golden Park brand, and it has a little fish on the front. And they feel different. They look a little bit different. Let's see if you can see the difference in those two. Don't they look slightly different in color and texture? I'll be curious if she thinks one is better than the other one. They have tough little husks on them, I can tell, just by looking at them. Can you see those little husks? Yeah, they're it. Showed you mung bean. Whatever she makes out of these, I'll be having a hoagie instead. No offense. She's been making uh, lentil soup and split pea soup because it's very healthy for you to have lentils. We've been eating many healthy foods lately. But I have to have my other alternate foods now and then. Ah, this is the one she got for a treat. She's going to make a video out of this. Jackfruit chips. And I'm really glad we got these. Because, do you know what a jackfruit is? This doesn't really do it justice showing it on the front there because you might get the idea it's sort of like a pear or something but actually a jackfruit is huge the thing is enormous like an elongated cantaloupe and it's got these sharp sort of spiny things on it if I hold it up real close maybe you can see spiny things that can hurt you if one was to fall off of a jackfruit tree onto your head, you might need ER treatment or worse. So I don't recommend walking under ripe ones. But anyway, I'm glad she got this because besides the fact she wants to make a video with it for ASMR McBall, um, she had her heart set on this giant jackfruit that we saw at Safeway. And when we went back to get it, it was already gone with no replacement. So it's good we got that one. We got this one for her, you know. She can at least taste the chips. Now, one thing that's very healthy for you, believe it or not, is shiitake mushrooms. Yeah, of course I could make some jokes about these, but you know me, I never make jokes, so I'll refrain. Soak shiitake in warm water for 30 minutes. This is something you should do with your spouse also now and then. Soak them in warm water for 30 minutes, preferably with candles, okay? Um, or your significant other person. Almond chicken stir fry. They've got recipes on the back, things like that. Don't those look healthy? Mushrooms are one of the best foods 
healthiest food you can eat. Last but not least, as always, my battery is just about to die. We have ginger coconut candy. And I happen to like these. I've had them before. This one has coconut juice, maltose syrup, ginger, uh, something else, soy, fatty acids, and uh, salt, and something. So, but they're pretty yummy. Maybe I'll pop this open and have one. Before she makes a video out of them. My video machine says we have about 30 seconds. Let's see if we can squeeze in a taste of this in the 30 seconds I have. Mm. If I cut out suddenly without being able to say don't, ASMR and drive, you'll know why. Now I need a sip of water. Excuse me for being so crass. That's it for this haul. I know it was a bit short, but I'm going to make it another video shortly to tell you about personal things going on in my life, which I don't usually do, but in this case, I decided why not share it with the world? You know, what's the harm in it? Okay, so, bye-bye for now. If you don't like sucking on candy sounds, then I'm glad I waited till the very end to do it. Don't ASMR and drive. Until next time, bye-bye.